Hey, Miss Eddie Blue. What's up, Lilac? Hey, what video are we doing today? Hmm, I'm not sure. We could do a bead haul or a kawaii charm haul. Ooh, we could show some awesome new papers that I got from scrapbook.com. Ooh, or the magical dye haul. What do you think? Well, I've been thinking, why don't we do the mermaid and unicorn project share that you've been promising? You know what, Lilac? That sounds like a great idea. You know what the drill is, guys. Drop a like and make sure you're subscribed. Well, okay guys, you heard it from the unicorn's mouth. Even though I have all these dyes set up beside me and a huge pastel home decor haul is set up behind me, it looks like we are gonna be doing my mermaid and unicorn happy mail project share. Now for any of my kawaii or alternative subscribers who don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about dyes or when they see that in the title of my videos, dyes are these cool little metal things that crafters use to cut awesome shapes out of paper and we can basically pretty much make any shapes we want and then you can turn them into stickers, use them for decorating or just lots of awesome stuff. So anyway, you guys, a couple months ago, a subscriber, it was actually one of my YouTube friends subscribers, sent me a package full of some goodies from the US that I can't get my hands on here in Canada, which is so awesome of her. She actually sent me this unicorn pen right here, which I absolutely adore. So anyway, you guys, I have made a package to send back for, to thank her, and I'm gonna share with you guys what I made today. I I've made up some stuff for her and some stuff for her daughter, so I hope they really like it. I hope you guys too. Don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and let's jump into this video. So basically, this Happy Mail consists of three elements, and they are mermaids, unicorns, and also Sanrio, because I have made her up a little Sanrio care package that I'm very excited for her to receive, and I will definitely be sharing that with you guys in this video as well. So right here in front of you, we have the mermaid stuff that I'm sending her, and I am very happy with the way it turned out as well. I think these were some of the first flipbooks that I made after I got my die cutting machine, so that was very exciting. I actually made some of this stuff a few months ago, uh, which some of you will see and recognize uh, when I share some of it. But anyway, here is the flipbook that I created for her. And I actually don't even think I had a die cutting machine when I made this. But anyway, I'm not gonna start with the flip book. So over here we have some doilies that I'm gifting her. On the top are some doilies that I punched out myself that I cut out with my die cutting machine. And I just used a bunch of different like mermaid themed papers. And then down here are two from the Doodlebug collection. And I did use a bunch of papers from the Doodlebug collection here. I love the Doodlebug collection. I also used the Stay Magical pad from Michaels. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions about any of the papers, just hit me up down in the comments. So anyway, yeah, I just put these on here uh, as like a waterfall effect. I did add in some sequins. Uh, I added some trim up here, and it's funny because this turquoise trim here is actually trim that she gifted me. <laughs> And now I'm like sending it back to her, but seriously guys, I am like so uh, not set for trim. Like you have no idea. It is like the one crafting item that I like don't have any of. Cause before I started paper crafting, I really had no use for trim. So anyway, I did add that trim and then I added this little tassel up here and I didn't glue anything so she can reuse it all. I just used a cutout as the topper. Then this one over here, which I'm absolutely loving. Uh, the 
these are the octopuses. So I actually got this die set on eBay and it was super cheap. It was like three or four dollars compared to I think 13 or 14.99 US on scrapbook.com. Uh, if you buy it on scrapbook.com, it's a spellbinders die and it comes in a package similar to this one. Uh, it looks pretty much exactly the same, you know, but it'll have different guys on the side. The only thing is uh, that the jellyfish, the hole doesn't cut out between his legs. So that really annoyed me. Uh, and I would like any of you who do have the actual Spellbinder set, if you can let me know if that hole actually cuts. Because if it does, I'll just buy that set. Anyway, um, I'm really happy with how these octopuses turned out. And yeah, they came in a set that I'll be showing in my next video. Uh, and then I put the mermaid up here. These are all pieces that I die cut out myself. And then I used a border punch over here. I love this doodle bug paper. Sorry guys, I'll try to hurry it up. Uh, so then over here, I made another topper and this time I used more of the mermaid themed paper from the Stay Magical collection. And then I used some die cuts up here that I cut out and these ones are actually from Michaels from a mermaid themed die pack. I think it might've been Recollections. Uh, I put some die cuts in here for her. Again, I did like the waterfall thing and used the doodle bug paper. And then down here, I have cut her out some envelopes, again, in matching and coordinating uh, magical mermaid themed and colored paper. So I will really quickly take you through the flip book, not only because I think I took too long to show that stuff, but because we have food on the way. <laughs> so anyway, this flip book was created with the Stay Magical pad from Michaels, and I am very, very excited with the way it turned out. So I, for this one, I actually did not have a die cut machine yet. I think all I had was a paper cut cutter and yeah I think it turned out really great I did some layering up here as you can see I used some coordinating washi tape and I used uh, some trim down here then over here I created a pocket and I've gifted her some tags I did puff this guy up on some dimensional foam tape and then these here are actually sticky notes so she can use some of these to decorate her own flip book or planner or for whatever she wants. These are page flag sticky notes. So then these tags, some of them are from Michaels and some of them are tags that I did uh, cut out myself. I think I added this one in here after because I know I didn't have a die cutting machine when I made this. So then this one over here Okay guys, so scratch everything I said about not having a die cutting machine when I made this. I can obviously see now that I totally did. I just didn't have that many dies yet. And this is the first flip book that I made with a die cutting machine. So yes, that must be why it's nicer than the other ones. Okay, so I just popped up this heart right here and um, this is a pocket right here, so I am gonna be adding some cut aparts and some little goodies, stickers and stuff in there for her. I put this doily right here. Once again, it's the Stay Magical pad, so it's got all the holographic and I really didn't need to add much. It's already very pretty. Then you open it up and I was really super, super happy with the way that this layout turned out, especially being that this is only the third flipbook that I have ever made. Uh, and yeah, I think it turned out even better than like the fourth or fifth that I made. So yeah, I was really happy with that. So inside here, I've gifted her a sequence mix and it is like mermaid themed colors. Under there, she's got a sticker, Shell Yeah. Over here, these are some more page flag sticky notes. And then here, I have gifted her a little um, rose and it is just stuck on with a glue dot so she can just remove that and use it herself or she can leave it there uh, to decorate the page. This is popped up on some foam just to add some dimension. I did create this paper clip or thingamajiggy as we call them on my channel. Wow, I actually remember the name this time, hey eh, guys? So I thought it looked super cute. I used one of the tassel 
Michaels from Michaels. And then I added that trim and a cabochon that I got from either eBay or AliExpress. I did use lots of the trim from the Stay Magical pad. And I've noticed other people using the pad, but most people don't use the trim pages, which I just can't believe it because the trims are so gorgeous. So yeah, and then I did mix in some Doodlebug paper. So the wave paper that you see here is Doodlebug. These are more of the trims from the Stay Magical. And then over here, I created another pocket and I put some more mermaid themed tags. I also put washi samples. Now at the time when I made this, I remember, some of you may remember, I was like complaining that I didn't have any mermaid themed washi tape. So since then I have got a bunch more. So I am actually gonna be adding some of the new mermaid washi tape that I got into this heart right here as well as as some of the newer cut aparts. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and so once she removes all this, it's still gonna look pretty. And then over here, she's got some more sticky notes. Up here, she's got some mermaid tail page flags, a holographic unicorn, more page flags, and like you see, hollow everywhere. It just all matches so great, and I am so happy with it. So here is the unicorn theme stuff and then I realized when I was taking it out of the iris container that I had it in that there was actually a couple more mermaid themed goodies. So these are just some stars that I cut out with my punch seeing as the recipient does not have her own die cut machine, at least I don't think she does. So once again, I just used all different magical mermaid papers and they are foiled and with treatments and prints and everything like that. And then here are just some heart punches and there's some glitter papers in there, foiled papers, printed papers, again, very, very pretty. So now for the unicorn stuff, some of you guys may have seen my share a few months ago when I did these DIY mini envelopes, mini magical envelopes, and you can do these in any color. They are so cute. This was a die that I got from eBay, but it is also available from AliExpress. And I actually got this idea from a fellow YouTuber, Craft Purge, who does totally awesome uh, tutorials and happy mail and everything like that. So if you're not following her, definitely go and check her out. I am also sending her this sequence mix or these three sequence mixes and they are all different unicorn themed mixes. I absolutely love this one with the black and pink and silver in the middle. And I used some doodle bug design papers for that. I think that turned out super cute. So I am also gifting her some straws. She sent me some totally awesome straws. I think I might actually have some of them. Aren't those? just like super magical you guys so i think those are from target in the us but we don't have those in canada and i was like so super happy when she sent me those so i am sending her back some straws so she can make some wands or do some different crafts with those i'm sending her this unicorn pencil and this one's probably going to be for her daughter it's like a pencil crayon and it writes in a few different colors I'm also including uh, this candy stick. I love these old fashioned sticks and I had a few left over from my big party in June. So this stuff is all gonna be going in this unicorn bag right here. I'm also gifting her this confetti wand and this is the Martha Stewart uh, unicorn collection confetti. And it is just so gorgeous, you guys. I love this confetti, so I'm gifting her that as well. And then another handmade unicorn embellishment over here. And I absolutely love these. I made a bunch of these a few months ago. It was one of the first die sets that I got and I'm totally obsessed with them. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm definitely gonna have to make more. Uh, so I do have the flip book here to show you and then a little pouch here filled with extras. So I did make this keychain for her and this can also be used as a purse charm or as a planner charm. I did put a nice heart clasp on the end of it and I also attached a little butterfly charm and this is like a really, really nice resin piece so it's super cute.
So then once we open it up, I've got goodies in both of the different compartments for her. And these are just kind of like extras that I'm putting in. So I had uh, one of these swirly pops. I had, like I was saying, I had a bunch left over from my party in June. So I'm, I am including one of those. And actually, you know what? I might end up putting that inside there as well. Oh, right. And so one of the things that I'm actually sending her is a beading kit because she wanted to start making bracelets. So I picked these up for her at Walmart and I thought those would be really pretty for her and her daughter to work on. And then there's just some other little beads and beading supplies that I put in here and then right here we have a pack of charms for her and her daughter and these are super cute charms all different ones you guys we've got stars we've got crosses like love there's some valentine ones even some hello kitty so yeah super cute and some tassels in there so I am gifting her those and then somewhere there is a unicorn pin. Yeah, right over here. And then as you can see, just a bunch of other random thingamabobs and goodies. So the flip books are actually the things that I am the most proud of and happy with how they turned out, out of this whole swap. Well, other than like this stuff, but I made that stuff beforehand, so I'm not really counting that. So I will take you through the flip book. Uh, now I know uh, I might add some ribbon or trim to the front, but it's already super chunky as you guys can see. So you open it up and oh my goodness, you guys, I am totally just loving this. So there is a whole bunch of layers here or mats if you want to call them. And they are just like, I don't know, you guys, I think it's just stunning. I absolutely love this. And with the polka dot ribbon and the textured paper, oh my goodness, it is so cute. So her name is Cassie. So I did put a letter C. She actually has her own channel. So I'll find out from mom if she wants it linked in this video or not. Uh, but anyway, I did uh, punch out some stars and put them up here or I cut them out with my die cut machine. I did puff them up on some dimensional foam and of course I added some bling over here we've got the doodle bug bling which are actually glittery enamel dots and guys I am totally obsessed with them in here we've just got some random cut aparts and also a unicorn from the collection on this page because it was already getting super chunky I decided um, instead of like trying to fit any gifts in that I would just make a scene and and I love making scenes, you guys. So I had a lot of fun with that. I did puff up the foam on some dimensional tape and I puffed up the grass as well. So it's like the unicorn is behind the grass and it's like it's raining uh, candy sprinkles almost. I absolutely love it. Then you turn the page and oh my goodness, you guys, it's just like you are in unicorn cupcake dreamland and I absolutely love it. So in here, I am gifting her this adorable little paper clip and it is shaped like a castle. And then in here, there is a whole bunch of ephemera or die cuts from the collection. They are so kawaii and so super cute. I created a pocket here using some of the paper from the Doodle Bug Fairy Tales collection. Right here, I used a Doodle Pop from the collection. This is another Doodle Pop, and I absolutely love them because all of them are super dimensional. As you can see, that has like five layers uh, all together, you know, including the bottom, the head, everything. And also, they all have either like glossy accents or glitter pre added, which is totally awesome uh yeah and then i just decorated it with some different cutouts from the collection i also made her this purse charm that she could also use as a planner charm and i just used this right here to attach it i put some foam dots on either side and i punched out a star yeah and then over here and then this star like holds it closed so that's really cute over here i am gifting her some magical washi tape so yeah i'm really excited about this i really hope she likes it i can't wait to see them opening it oh my gosh i almost forgot about the sanrio stuff 
So here is the little Sanrio care package that I have created for her. And you guys, I just knew like even though she isn't like that into Sanrio herself, I could just tell by her reactions to my Sanrio hauls that she absolutely adored the little twin stars and just couldn't get enough of them. So I knew that I had to send a special little kawaii surprise her way. So over here, we've got some little Twin Stars stickers. I put a whole bunch of them in there, you guys. So she is just gonna love those. Not only that, I took the stickers I was keeping out of the package and I am giving her the adorable little Twin Star package so she can keep that to reuse, to keep small things in for herself or she can use it to gift to a friend in Happy Mail and see with the castle and the star trees. Ah! I just love the little twin stars. So I am also gifting her some Sanrio washi tape. We've got a few different styles here. Of course, I didn't have my washi organizer at the time. Otherwise, I would have known that I have like 20 different kinds of Sanrio washi tape, not just three. But anyway, she is getting that and I did put a good amount on there. I'm also giving her a few Sanrio envelopes. So this one is totally adorable and this is one of my favorites. There is the envelope at the back and it has Kiki and Lala and their two little cloud doggies. Oh my goodness, I love it. Then we've got some more envelopes over here. First is a cinnamon roll, very pastel. And then another little twin stars over here. And I absolutely love this one. As you can see, it is all done in my three favorite colors. Then here is another Sanrio envelope and this one has like all the different characters on it. I actually grabbed a bunch of these when I saw them this new year because they are so, so cute and I never want to run out. So I am also sending her one sheet of these adorable little twin star stickers. They do have gold foiling in them and they are really, really adorable. And then last but not least, this Kiki and Lala Little Twin Stars Notebook. And I absolutely love it. Look at these, you guys. Oh my goodness. I love it when they do like anything like normal household items or like normal items, but shaped like a star. Like that just drives me crazy. I love it. So anyway, that is it for her Sanrio goodies. And other than that, basically I have just made her up this uh, bead package. And this is actually the heaviest thing out of all the Happy Mail. So this is actually gonna be what, what's putting weight on everything. Uh, but I have made, given her enough beads here so that her and her daughter and even her daughter's friend can make a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've color coordinated them and I've put the kids beads down there and then the glass beads for her up top. They're really pretty, as you can see, I've added some charms. And then at the back, I've also put in some bags with clasps, findings, chain, string, anything that she might need to make jewelry. So other than these charms, I think we've finally reached the end. And basically I was just a little late uh, getting her package sent off to her. So I decided to include a few extras and that's what this little case was about. And I also decided to make her up this little package of kawaii charms and cabochons. So this is like a sample pack and for anybody who didn't know yet, cause I haven't really made an official announcement, but I am going to be selling kawaii resin charms. So definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like the video, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now, Miss Eddie Blue.